back again this time we're doing some mobile home power and water and in this video i'm going to go over a little bit of the cost associated with it on getting a uh, rental trailer ready to go it ain't much but i mean it can be a lot depending how far you got to go uh on power Whenever you get it going, they uh, they don't charge as much. If you go ahead and trench like what I'm doing right now, I think if they if they got a trench, it goes up dramatically. But uh, it's roughly like twelve, thirteen hundred bucks to get power to one. And then as far as water, however far it is from your meter to uh, where you hook it up at. So for us, it was like four grand. Jesus Christ! I thought I hit a water line right here. Nope, just galvanized. Thank God. There's no telling what's at this trailer park, man. Just years of folks just throwing trash out and it just gets mushed into the clay. Ain't no telling what's out here. There's a baby girl out here watching me work. I know y'all seen that. I know y'all seen that. She blew me a kiss. To y'all that know Parker, y'all know that she's, she's not a nice baby. Y'all know. The real ones know. But yeah, uh, your water shouldn't run you too much. I'm going to say if you got at least to go 200 foot probably gonna spend about a dollar a foot and I create pay Kristen about 10 cents a foot <laughs> to cover this up she could have used a scoop too dummy using a mailbox lid what an idiot nah I'm just kidding but that was it man so all in all to get a mobile home ready to go I'd say on a random piece of land probably 1700 bucks not included septic though you throw some septic in there boy you finna pay they're proud of them septic tanks i think they run like six six thousand so maybe I'm, I'm a little off so if you had to get a septic water power you're probably knocking on 10 g's for real damn i need to get into the septic business but that's a wrap for today